like I was saying, like I was saying across on the on the Google Hangouts, um, one of the reasons you and I wanted to get together, Trav, and really sort of do this training was because it provided an opportunity sort of for you to use me as like a case study for like the health side of the business and the wellness side, but also then it allowed me to use you as like a case study when it comes when it comes to video and really seeing how like we can sort of improve on um, using video to for you to reach a broader audience, but also not just yourself, everyone here who's tuning in. So um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to sort of kick off and, and, and give a bit of a backstory for me quickly. And uh, like, I know we are behind, so I'll do, make sure it's really quick. Um, for everyone tuning in, uh, my backstory is I've spent seven and a half years in the military. I've, um, I've got four young daughters and I've been trying to build a business for the last couple of years um, from from blogging to podcasting to now a video business. It's It's been, uh, I won't say like really easy. It's certainly been a struggle um, in that sense and I have to work very hard for it and I've chased a lot of shiny objects. As a, as a sort of like a byproduct, um, my health has severely slipped in the last couple of years. Um, and, and that's why like, I'm really excited to get on this because we can use me as a case study for you, Trav, and, and sort of just improve on, on everything we've got going on. Absolutely, James. So um, I guess before we kick off, I'll, uh, I'll introduce myself as well. So as James said, um, I'm, my name is Travis Dillard, and, and I, uh, I work with with busy entrepreneurs and helping them attain the bodies that they, that they desire. Uh, but more importantly, finding, um, figuring out how to, how to implement health into their life. Cause as you said, you know, the reality is you have four kids, you're busy as hell. Um, it, health is legitimately the most important resource you have in your life. You know that, um, it has this in, in insane overlap in your business with your relationships with your, with your wife and your kids. Um, and the confidence that you have, I mean, you do a ton of video, you know, and if, if you spend your time, you know, messing with the buttons on your shirt because you're worried about how you look in the videos, obviously that's going to portray um, via your confidence and, and things of that nature. So obviously it's pretty much the most important thing you got, you know, and it's, I think it's great. I think this is a great avenue to, to go into this. As I said in the video that I posted in the group, you don't see this a lot. You hear health talked about over here and you hear business talked about over here, but never together yet. Everyone mm -hmm. understands the importance, right? So that's basically how I, how I approach um, when I'm working with my clients and, and, and especially during these type of conversations, but really um, a little bit of background about myself. I uh, I've had quite a roller coaster from, um, from a health perspective. I, uh, about six years ago, I was um, in college, and, and I'll get real, real with you real quick here. Um, and I remember, yeah. like it was yesterday, I, I, was, I was sitting there on my dorm room bed, and, and uh, I was eating Cheetos and, and watching uh, one of my favorite television shows at the, at the time, The Office. And as I remember leaning over, grabbing the remote, the television remote, and this, this large uh, clump of fat you know, over my belt, onto my leg. And I, I began to get like really emotional. And for me, it, it, it really hit home. And from that point forward, really, um, actually it wasn't from that point forward. I, I'd be lying to you if I said that. Reality is, is that I, I thought I was going to wake up the next day and make this big change in my life, you know, but I realized, here you go. I'm, I'm, I was depressed. I was in a poor, bad relationship. I had, I used food as a crutch, um, to, to, you know, move through, try, try to move, move through life because I, I was in serious pain here. And so the next day you may think I've made this yeah. dramatic change in my life, but really, uh, when I was in, in college, I, I was presented with a class it was called swimming conditioning. And, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this class. Lo and behold, I lose, you know, 15 to 20 pounds. I start to gain some of my confidence back, but where it really at home for me was the second that I, I got out of the pool. Um, I felt this real sense of empowerment. Yeah. Um, like it, it was more, it was a chemical rush, but it was also just, just uh, like I could do anything and I wanted to feel that feeling. So I pursued it um, for the next two to three years, had a massive transformation. And then that's, that's when I really started my business. Um, and I, I took it to the next level. I mean, I, I, here I am today 
I'm fortunate enough to be able to um, chase my passion while helping others doing it as well. And uh, it's you're doing it yourself with with your expertise and, and um, going down the, the the video avenue, which is awesome. Um, I myself uh, have implemented a lot of video. I am not doing it in the way I don't know if you guys have seen James's videos, but they are pretty amazing. Um, the, the, from the quality to to his actual presentation to the call to action at the end, and he'll go into that. But really, it's it's an awesome avenue to get your passion out there and to help others. And that's what it's all about, you know, and, and we have Facebook, you know, there's 4.3 billion people or whatever, you know, it's some crazy number. Um, like one in four people are now on Facebook and they're watching these sorts of videos. So you have this huge impact. And um, so anyway, James, what I want to do is I kind of want to go through your situation and really kind of how you approach yeah. your, your daily basis and, and, some, and some history you have behind your health. I know you talked a little bit about how it's, you kind of deviated from where you want to be, but. Um, let's get a little bit more yeah. with that. And hey, if if uh, if any anybody on the call has any questions at all or wants to chime in, this is an open forum. This is not some formal webinar. We're going to go through slides or anything. This is just a, a conversation we're going to have. Exactly, so, and that's and that's something that um, Travis and I really talked about when um, we wanted to set this up. Is it needs to be like casual conversation. I think we we all I know I learn best. Um, when we converse with people and we, we learn from experiences. Um, and so that's why, you know, I, I'm really excited to get on here and, and talk about this, Trav, and, and, you know, a bit of back, my backstory, if we're talking about the health and fitness side, right, and the health and wellness side. Um, for a long time, man, you know, like I would swings and roundabouts, dips and lows and highs, you know, you'd work out, um, you'd lose 20 kilos, and then you'd go right back into – you, you know, either you have to go off and work somewhere or you're whatever and you slip into bad habits again and, you know, you go back to the low and then you get back to the high of, you know, being heavy and then you get back down low again and it's these swings and roundabouts and it's, I guess, you know, my biggest struggle for this and I think a lot of people can relate is the consistency, right? The consistency to achieve the, that, that one thing. Whether it be, you know, and I'm not saying like you have to be 80 kilos. I'm not saying you have to be, you know, 50 kilos, whatever that is. It's, you have to be consistently happy and consistently, you know, healthy in your own body to continue pushing. You know, like for example, this is, it's 6.27 here in the morning. Uh, I think you and I stopped chatting last night, sort of about quarter to one, half past 12 or something like that. You know, so it's like rolling, rolling things, you know, late nights, then, you know, not enough sleep and then, you know, back into it again, first thing in the morning. And then I've got filming all morning. So it's, you know, how can we achieve that sort of, that balance and maintain, you know, how we're looking after ourselves so we can sustain our business. And I know we, we don't really want to harp on the business side, right? But so we're, we're trying to like get focused on us. So with the byproducts, all the byproducts we're talking about today, uh, and this is for everyone else tuning in, uh, all the byproducts we're going to talk about will, will come from what Travis is going to, you know, Travis is going to lay on us in a minute and, and show us how we can maintain that balance and maintain that healthy lifestyle. I mean, I think you hit on a couple of good points. The reality is, is that your business is part of your health because it's, it consumes most of your day. And so, I mean, if you had a way to, to basically take a roadmap and just apply it to your business per se, or because a lot of the reality is, is a lot of us are, are, you know, 12, 13 hours in our business, especially if you're just starting or even if you just, you know, haven't outsourced what you need to outsource, uh, you're in it. And if you don't prepare for it, the day is going to run you and um, the, the classic uh, drive through window option, right? If, if you don't prepare, you're going to see it's 12 o'clock. You haven't eaten since 8 a.m. All of a sudden you look up, you realize I'm starving. And not only that, but you, your, your mental faculties start to, start to um, definitely plummet. And you're like, all right, I, I need something. So you're either going to run to the pantry, grab whatever you have. Obviously that's, for me, that's, that's bare pickings. Like, uh, there, there's nothing there. Um, and if there is, it's definitely not going to be something that's considered healthy. Or you're like, oh, I'm going to go to the, 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 closest, uh, the closest fast food establishment or whatever. Go to the drive through I'm going to, you know, you have a, your option between a salad or, or a, uh, a cheeseburger. And the salad, you're like, oh, that's healthy. Well, what, that's going to last you till what, you know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Or you're like, you know, I'm really hungry. I'm going to grab a cheeseburger. Obviously, that's not the best option. In the next two hours, you're 
your blood sugar is going to spike and it's going to come back down. You're going to be right back where you started. Not to mention you're, you're going to be feeling like absolute crap. And how the heck are you supposed to run your day, be successful in it with your videos that you're doing um, if you leave yourself with no option, you know, no planning? And do you, do you feel like you've, you've been doing that? I mean, obviously, that's, that's a huge phenomenon in the, in the world we live in. Yeah, and it's certainly right, like from my perspective with, with everything. Um, you know, I still work a full-time job. So coming in and, you know, the planning side of the things is 100% on point for where I need to be. And I know that's the thing, right? It's how can we take that first step to get to that planning phase? How can we, you know, for people who aren't always planning, who aren't on the ball all the time, to make this massive change, right? Like you were saying in your story, it's really tough to go from here to here in the space of like X amount of time. So does it need to be gradual travel? And like how, how can we take gradual baby steps to get to a point that's going to sustain it rather than just go, I'm here and then next minute fall off the wagon. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey James. Hi, welcome guys. Sorry. I appreciate the invite. Uh, you guys are talking about a really awesome subject and I don't know if, how if, if others are allowed to contribute absolutely okay cool so um J i know james from video and the web i'm the super smart guy podcast so uh one of the things that i like to do is optimize help people optimize their performance and health wealth and relationships and you guys have a really awesome topic here so you know you're talking about how do you put this into your lifestyle it's got to be behavioral change right it's got to be habits yeah. So there's two ways you can do it. One is slowly over time. You gradually introduce things slowly over time. The other one is a total reboot, uh, a complete makeover, very radical. Usually those two extremes work best depending on the circumstance and the person, right? So yeah. that's, that's, a great, that's a great point. Um, and it kind of, it's a great segue into really what I believe is the most important part of this whole thing. But obviously, you, you want to make a change and, and most people want to make it quickly. Um, they want, they want to figure out, you know, what's the best meal plan, what's the best exercise. And we actually got to start somewhere different. Um, you know, much, much like in our businesses, we realize mindset's a huge aspect of it. Well, it's actually more important, um, in, in your, your fitness journey as well. You know, you, you've got to, you've got to start convincing your subconscious that you are healthy, right? Because as soon as you can, as soon as your, your subconscious absorbs that all of a sudden your actions start showing this as well. So something that I have my clients do, it's, it's, it's very, very powerful. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of affirmations, but it's done a little bit differently. So what, what I suggest or advise you to do, James, is, is figure out your why, right? Why, are, why is it that you want to get healthy? Is it, is it for your kids? Is it for you? Is it to increase your, your confidence, boost your self-esteem? I mean, what is that why? And you don't have to answer that right now, but and write five things. Well, I just want to. Yeah. Basically, I just want to stand on video in my underwear. No, I'm, I'm, I like it. I, hey, I like that. That's, yeah. that's an awesome goal. <laughs> you got to have balls to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, um, yeah. So, so really, really, uh, it, if you want to, if you want to input into it, you want to input this into your life it's pretty easy, right? Actually, I have, um, I have it on my phone, but what I do is I, I, down, I, I write five things down, whether it be, and you can, also, you can also apply this into your business as well, but five things down like, I am healthy, I am energetic, I am a freaking rock star. Five affirmations, five things, anything at all, but it has to do with your why, right? It, it has to tie back to why is it you want to get healthy? Why do you want to look good? And once you do that, then you actually say it into a, there's many, many voice recording apps. Actually, let me see real quick which one I have. But you can download a voice recording app and it's called, um, this one is called Quick Voice. It's free. Um, and you actually read those yep. five things. And every single morning when you get up, you replay these, these five different, um, you, or you hear yourself say these five things. And and over, after about 30 days, your subconscious will eventually absorb this. And you'll notice a dramatic shift. Um, it, it, it's pretty amazing. And mindset is huge. It's the biggest thing. In fact, tactics don't mean anything, right? You can, I can set you the greatest meal plan in the world. I can give you yeah. the exact exercises to do.
But if you don't truly believe that you are going to be healthy and, and you don't understand deep as to why you're going to get healthy, none of it matters. Um, so I, I think that's the number one yeah. starting point. If you, if you had to ask where, if you had to ask where, I, where do you want to start today, that, that's exactly what I would, what I would suggest. Um, that being said, there's obviously a ton of, a ton of, I think that's great. I think, right. Yeah. And I think that's really great advice, right? Like if you look at like the miracle morning from hell, our odd, you look at all these other things that are like, if you train your subconscious in a way to believe, you know, like if, you know, if we're talking about, you know, we wanted to really sort of do this about like the segment between business. If we look after ourselves this way, all the other things are going to flow on, right? If we're doing affirmations into our health and our wellness and everything like that, naturally it's going to flow on to different effects in our life. So one of the things I started with when I really wanted to start video um, or, or, or a successful business and because my why is my kids, right? Like I've got four little girls and they keep me busy and, you know, it's, it's really great fun, but it's incredibly taxing. If you're trying to build a business and I'm putting in 16, 17 hours a day into this thing when I'm not at work full time and I'm doing a full time job and then I'm coming home and working all night. Understanding that why and understanding the affirmations and training my subconscious to, you know, to be thinking positively all the time, no matter how tired I am. And I guess that's the same as what you're saying, Trav, is like, no matter where you are now, you can still change. You just have to believe in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and then after that, once you, once you actually begin to believe that you have to have the right roadmap as well. Right. And I want to, I want to clear some things up. Um, so when you hear the when you hear the term meal prep, what do you think, James? I mean, do you, do you have negative association? Uh, uh, lots of containers, lots of lots of lots of yeah. Like I, I mean, I we actually do quite a lot of meal prep here at our house, so it's like a lot of containers, and we just sort of fill up as many meals as we can for the week, so that when in you know instead of that sort of like drive through thing where it's like you get to the point where you're like I'm super hungry or you come home from soccer lessons with the kids and you know like what are we going to eat for the night you don't just grab something out of the freezer you just grab like a frozen meal and it's, and it's decent like it's not a packet meal yeah yeah that's that's great and that's exactly what meal prep is designed for but you know in your case um i would actually so meal prep is great but i would look at it a little bit differently um on every Sunday, here's what I would advise. Make meal prepping a family event. Start including your kids. Start including and kind of make it a, uh, a fun time and a bonding time with, 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 your, with your loved ones. And, you know, if you don't have kids, for, for those, you know, that are listening that don't have kids, I think it's a great time to listen to, to a podcast, right? I've got some, good, I've got some um, fantastic podcasts if you want to talk uh, after this. Um, hang out. Well, I'll go ahead and shoot those over, but really it's, it's kind of a, it's a great way to, to spend your time doing something other than the actual task, because what you'll, what you'll find is after about four or five weeks of meal prepping, um, it'll start to just be get, become natural and more of habitual. And, uh, you know, obvious, obviously people have this negative connotation with it. And unfortunately that's why most people don't do it. And they put themselves in that drive through conundrum. So yeah. uh, that being yeah. said, I, how I want to I want to I want to quickly because I know we don't have a lot of time. I want to quickly jump into, into the the next topic and um, and this is another one uh, where where people have kind of uh, some some trepid some trepidation around it, and that's fasting. A lot of people when they hear fasting, they think, "Oh my gosh, yeah. I've, I've got to starve myself to 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 fast, and oh, I'm going to lose the muscle that I do have. I'm going to lose." Um, there's just a lot of hype around it too. And it's the next big thing right now. And, uh, so, so fasting, all right. It's not, it's not starving at all. In fact, um, done correctly, you will have, the reality is you are going to have some hunger pains, but they're very minimal because if you think about it, when you sleep, you know, you're fasting, right? So, so eight hours, nine hours. Okay. That, that, that's, a, that's a little bit generous. Seven, eight hours. Um, you're going to be fasting all throughout that time. So if you were to fast at 8 p.m. and you were to take it to the next day at 1 p.m., so you, you sleep in, what time do you wake up, James? What, what time uh, do you 5, 5 a.m., 5.30. Okay. 
So, so you wake up, you wake up pretty early. So what time do I go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what time do you go to yeah, bed? Like I try, I try and I, I always try and get in bed before like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Been a couple of late nights recently, but yeah, try and get into bed quite, you know, 10 to Yeah, 30. so so you get about six hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep on a good night. Um, okay, so when you wake up at 5.30, yeah. if, you, if I were to tell you to fast, you can drink Bulletproof coffee or coffee. I mean, bulletproof coffee is, is just MCT oil, um, uh, grass-fed butter, and coffee, and, and really that's just going to keep you satiated. So no, that's not a complete fast technically, but... What you're doing is, is you're allowing yourself to make it to 1 p.m. And what, you're do, what, what happens when you fast? What happens when, when, when uh, from a physiological standpoint, your, your hormones completely level out? It's like you're, you're rebooting your entire system. And a lot of people think that, oh, if I don't eat, I'm going to feel tired. When after about eight or nine hours, quite the opposite happens. Um, you have this sense of energy. And, and a lot of people like to even work out during this fast because – um, like I said, it's, it's about eight to nine hours, but you, it's like you're, you're completely rejuvenated and it, it, there's just this massive myth associated with fasting, but fasting for busy guys like you, I mean, there's no better way. If you can do it once a month, um, you, you'll obviously get rid of all the toxins as well. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to find that you have all this extra time, right? You don't have to worry about food. And then what you do when you break the fast at 1 PM um, you are going to be, you're, you're going to be pretty hungry. It's the reality of it. But, but with, with the coffee, you, you're you going to be able to fight that a little bit. Um, uh, but at 1 PM, here's what you do. You eat a small meal. You're going to be hungry and you may, you may want to over consume food. And then after that, you're just going to feel like, like garbage. Um, what you want to do, you want to plan it out. So you've got 1 PM, the second 1 PM hits, you eat a well-balanced meal, right? So you got your carbs, fats, and proteins. Um, terms of exact exactly how much i'm not going to go into that but the next meal an hour and a half to two hours later so you've got two large meals semi-large meals and once you realize that at the end of the day you're back exactly where you would have been had you not fasted that's all that matters you're not starving yourself you're eating the same exact amount of food you've rebooted your hormones and you had look at how much you got done at the beginning of the day because you were energized and you didn't have to worry about eating at that time. So it's just a great tactic for especially entrepreneurs and business owners to be using uh, that, that unfortunately a lot of people don't because they're scared as to what the real, um, like they don't see that there's benefits at all. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. It tries. Um, yeah, it makes, it makes a hundred, a hundred percent sense. Wait, I, I think Sean's trying to get in. Oh, uh, so, um, like with us being yeah yeah and stuff like one of the biggest times to actually do the fasting is whenever you end up coming back from a conference seminar convention anything like that you can't yeah. control your food so what happens when you do the fasting it allows your body to actually get rid of all the crap you just put in your system for that entire weekend and i also do with my patients whenever there's like any cheat meals they have i immediately put them on the fast for the 17 hours because it makes it more say for instance they went out to mcdonald's that gives them a whole 17 hours to get it out of their system before they actually bring back in their good quality foods so that they're not having to deal with all those toxins while trying to absorb more stuff. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's, point, Doc, Dr. Hacksworth. Yeah. So I just wanted to really quick um, I contribute uh, a little bit. So a re I do a reduced calorie diet. Sometimes, uh, very often, I'll have just one meal a day. And the problem is avoid the binging because when you get really hungry, you want to binge. And also, if you start exercising, you increase your hunger and then you want to binge. A lot of people who start working out gain more weight because they eat more because they're so darn hungry from the working out. And the other thing too is uh, sleep. Sleep is extremely important. Uh, there's a lot of studies out there that prove that sleep deprivation actually causes weight gain because it messes up your metabolic state and a bunch of other factors we could talk about later. But I just want to throw those two things in real quick. Yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's that's great stuff. Um, and kind of adding on to, I'll add on. To yeah, I think that's really important. Um, sorry about that. I think we're getting some lag here. Um, but Sean, you mentioned conferences. Um, I think that's a great point. In fact, uh, it kind of opened it up in my mind. It, where also, it's a good. It's time I do it. Is when I when I'm traveling. 
you know, especially if, if you're traveling for more than five or six hours, there's, there's commute time and all that. It's not, it, you're not setting yourself up um, if, if you're showing up to an airport without a plan. And if you're, if you decided, you know what, today I'm going to fast, you're not going to go to, you know, uh, McDonald's or, or whatever's convenient at the time. Um, but yeah, conferences are great too. In fact, I'm putting together a conference guide right now, which one of the days is a fasted time. Um, but again, there's just a lot of misconceptions around fasting and it, uh, this is a great forum to do that. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that, that we're doing this. Um, something else I, I wanted to go over was, uh, you know, I, I think this is something that's also not talked about. We live in the world of, of beast mode. And, and um, James, this is for you too, because I'd be interested to see, you know, where, you're, where you stand with this. A lot of people think that because something is hard, because something is intense, that it's working, when it's just simply not the case. In fact, you see, how many times do you see people on a treadmill um, busting their butts and they, they look like they're in serious pain and they do this because in their minds they think oh it's painful it must be doing me well it m I must be burning calories and you you ask them you say so so why do you enjoy that and they say no I just do it to burn calories well why the hell are you doing it if you don't enjoy it so whatever yeah. you choose to do Whatever lifestyle, and this comes from a nutritional standpoint as well, but specifically exercise, whatever exercise is your thing, make it fun. Make it your thing, right? Don't do it just because someone else says it burns calories. A, a classic case you'll see is people are like, oh, I'm doing fasted cardio. Okay. Well, well why? And they say it burns more calories. And I say, or, or it, it sheds more fat, you hear. And, and, and I ask, you know, do you enjoy it? Well, no, I've got to get up at 5 a.m., I, I'm tired, it's painful, I'm not, I'm hungry. And I'm like, you do realize, you know, if you were to compare that to, you know, jogging after work or doing it where you actually enjoy it, it's more sustainable because you were talking about, you know, consistency. You're not going to be consistent with something you don't like. Yep. Not to mention the difference between fasted cardio and normal cardio is, or, or, you know, just at the end of the day, is so negligible that the only way it would really matter is if you're a high performing professional athlete, right? We're, we're just simply not. The difference is, is, is pointless. And it, that goes to show you, that's just, a, that's just an example, right? There's, a, there's thousands of cases like this that you're like, you don't enjoy what you're doing, but you, you, you're rationalizing in your head because it's hard, right? It, you're in pain. So I wanted to see, you know, uh, in, in terms of exercise, I haven't heard you talk about that much, James. Yeah, yeah. So uh, exercise, I lift uh, beers. No, um, yeah. So I play a lot of play a lot of squash with uh, a close friend of mine, and um, we play we pro try and play a couple of times a week, and, and and that is just like forty five minutes, fifty minutes of just non stop interval stuff, and it and it leaves you gas. But I, I like I take your point. and and I can you know I, I can attest to it and and use me as a case study the fact that like running isn't my thing. The only reason I go running is so I can listen to audiobooks on like my iPhone. And that is the only reason I'll like go running. If I don't have an audiobook to listen to, I'm like, oh, I, don't, I hate running. But where, when it comes to squash, I'm like, yeah, let's play, let's play every day. I don't, you know, and, and that it's enjoyable for me. And it's a, and it's a massive amount of cardio, like workout, I, like I assume, because it leaves me like this <laughs> for the longest time afterwards, the game, after the game. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, for me, you know, I like, in my, and this is the thing, right. And, and I'm all about like, if, if you know my show, and I know, you know, Keith does and, and you do travel, like my show is hundred percent transparent. I always say, um, you know, everything. And I think we're going to, we're going to end in 10 minutes. Um, everything that we like that I do, I have it in my calendar and, um, I've got the gym in there from six to seven. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember the last time I went to the gym between six and seven. I used to go, like I used to train all the time between six and seven, but now I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but that, that's just it. Like when you, if you do listen to, to audio books, you enjoy it, right? So, so that's your thing. Yeah. If you listen to audio books, but don't do it if you're not going to listen to an audio book, right? It's, it's because you want to do what, what works for you and what's what you find enjoyable and what you can stick with 
you know, not just this week, but six, six months, a year down the road, you can see yourself continuing to do it. Um, plus, I think that's a great time to uh, get in that, get in that extra knowledge and uh, absorb some of the stuff that you on a regular basis wouldn't have the time to do. So, um, you know, we, we don't have much, much time left, but what I want to do is go through like one or two quick other things. And then I want to kind of transition into um, kind of productivity hacks that, that you yourself have have discovered we haven't really mentioned any of any of your kind of cheat meals quote unquote or, or meals that like pizza or, or sweets or indulgences that you have um, you know I, I think it, and why don't why don't we go into that what, what's your favorite ice cream pizza what is it what's your what's your poison uh my wife's poison is pizza so by default mine is pizza <laughs> Love pizza. It's probably my favorite too. Um, yeah. So, what what you what you want to do is is when you have these cravings, right? We all have them. Um, what you want to do is, is is treat a little bit differently. Rather than say to yourself, "No, I'm not going to have that pizza," um, talk talk to yourself like this: "I can have that," and that's conditional. If you choose to have that, that's fine. Um, but don't don't fight it. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and eat a meal, a well-balanced meal before you consume pizza. So let's say, um, or, or ice cream or whatever, whatever you choose. Let's say you're like, oh my gosh, I really want some pizza. Yet you have the food, um, you have the health options in front of you to, to eat you know, some complex carbs, some veggies, um, whatever you want to do, some, some lean protein and, uh, and some fats. And then at that point you're like, and you eat all that and then you're going to find that nine times out of 10, you're not, you're, you're no longer going to have that craving. In fact, it was just you being hungry um, rather than you actually mm. need that pizza in your mind. Cause it, we, we get this, we get this. Um, I constantly fall for this myself where you have a, a good week, right? You have five or six days of, you know, staying on track and then all of a sudden the weekend rolls around and you want, you want something. You want, you want that fatty, you want that pizza or you want that ice cream or whatever. And a lot of people are like, you know what? I've been doing well. I might as well. And they just binge eat on pizza. But the reality is, is if you're just hungry, right? If, so if you were to just fill, fill your stomach, yeah, exactly. We all do it. We've, we're all guilty. Um, but if you fill your stomach up with the right things first and you still want it after, go ahead, have a slice. But again, nine times out of 10, you're no longer going to want that anymore. And um, on this, on that one time you do, you know, treat yourself. But you're not gonna be, you're not gonna fill yourself up on it because you're already halfway full. Just a, a little trick that that yeah. some of my clients use that I know would would help you out a lot. Um, it's easy. Uh, just just kind of a little mindset hack. Uh, another thing I wanted to go over was was water, and it was mentioned earlier. Obviously, water is a huge component. Um, the first thing you should do before before listening to yourself um, with your mindset, um, the, the five, your five whys, before listening to yourself, grab a, wake up and have, you don't have to have, have this, but eight ounces of water right next to you um, and get in the habit of doing that because you're, when, you, when you're sleeping your five or six hours, your body is dehydrated. Um, you're fasting, you're dehydrated. The first thing it needs, water. And so when you have this water, you know, water acts as a natural diuretic. It keeps your metabolism high and it prevents you from, because you're, you're going to be hungry as well when you wake up. It prevents you from, from gorging in the morning after your six to seven hour fast. So always have water. It's the most important thing. Water and sleep, um, you know, you're not getting a lot of sleep. You're getting five to six hours. And um, I, we, that's huge. That's huge. Because if you don't sleep especially from a business perspective, like how are you supposed to be able to operate at your highest capacity and, and give your clients what they need? You just can't. Yeah. I mean, that's, and that, that's and that's the, and that's the, and, the, and that's the, that's the thing, right? I mean, yeah. okay. sorry about that. We're, we're, we're kind of overlapping here. Uh, but that's the thing, you know, if, if, you have everything else right. You have the mindset right. You have you have your nutrition. You have your exercise. Everything's but you're not sleeping. I mean, it, it, everything's going to go to shit, and you're wasting your time. 
And I know it sounds like a lot. I know it sounds like that there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, so if you were to ask me, put these in order, I would say the first thing is, is mindset. Just to kind of recap everything we've talked about. The first thing is mindset. You know, do your, do your five whys. Second thing is sleep. Third thing is water. And then you can start looking into your, into your nutrition, maybe implementing fasting or talk about meal prep or talk about it or look into an exercise that you truly like. If you, rock, if you like to rock climb, by all means, get out of the gym, get off the, the bicycle if you don't like it, quit doing boot camp classes, quit doing CrossFit and do something you like. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, which I haven't discussed yet, is it's going back to the beast mode mentality. And what happens is there's, and there's a lot of, I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of, a lot of business owners and they love CrossFit. CrossFit is like the latest and greatest fad. It, it will be for quite some time. It's, it's still getting bigger. And you, you ask them and you say, you know, what, what's the problem? They say, well, you know, I'm fatigued. I, I can't sleep right. I don't know what's going on with me because I'm doing everything right. My nutrition's on point. I'm exercising. Well, how often are you exercising? Well, I'm doing CrossFit five days a week. When you put your body through CrossFit, you're living in this perpetually inflamed state. Your body is constantly flared up trying to recover, and it's spending all of its energy trying to recover. And they're wondering why they can't, that they've hit, they've hit a, a plateau and they can't lose any more weight or they can't lose any more fat. And it's, it's like this never ending cycle. They think, okay, well, they, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting some, oh, is that your phone? So they think, yeah. um, they think, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going as intense as I can. I got I to gotta clearly raise up the bar. I got to raise the bar. And they can't raise it anymore. They're already putting their – their central nervous system is fried. And then when they raise the bar, then they, they get to adrenal fatigue. And, and this is just something it's, – it's the latest and greatest fad. And I know that most people don't have this problem. It, you're, you're either one or the other, right? You're either CrossFit all the time um, or you're – you know, you can't make it to the gym, right? There needs to be some medium. Does that make sense, James? Makes one hundred percent sense, man, and I I understand everything that you said, and it's 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 good to come in here and write like you uh, put myself up as the guinea pig, um, and you know it sounds like you know everyone here today um it has a has a decent idea, and it's just you know when we disseminate this across other channels, it's going to be interesting for a lot of people to see if they can relate to this sort of concept, but. It's, it's good, like, you know, prioritizing that, and especially, you know, like, you, you know, if we're talking productivity or we're talking video or anything like that, if, if we're talking anything like that, breaking it down in steps, like you said, you know, what's the most important thing, you know, getting sleep, you know, or, you know, just that, that first thing, just nail that down for the first couple of weeks. If you, once you get into a routine of like getting into bed at 10 o'clock and getting up at like, you know, like seven, six or seven, you know, there's your sleep now down, you know. Do little things like putting your phone out of the room or, you know, whatever, you know, other sleep tips that, you know, you've probably got a, t a stack of them, but doing it in incremental changes rather than just going, oh, Travis said I need to do uh, like get nine hours sleep or like eight hours sleep and I need to do meal prep on Sundays and I need to like work out like X amount of times. Like that, I don't think that would work for anyone, especially not me because like I'd be like, oh, yeah, why is he telling me what to do? Why is he telling me what to do? I'll do what I want. And then you're like, well, yeah, so I think, you know, what you've covered there is, like, great taking it in incremental steps. And I think that's, that's important with anything, right? Like, habits form over time. And if we can, if we can just take these little steps and then it, it sustains over time, it's, it brings consistency over time, which then forms our habits and we can move forward and, and really knock, knock the nail on the head and achieve what we want to achieve. Absolutely. And I mean... I've got a quick question. Go ahead. Like, for example, uh, so James wants to do an incremental change of habits and stuff. How about, this is an example, like the first habit change is set, the, set your phone to go off at 10 o'clock every night. That's bedtime. So when the phone goes off, take your shower, brush your teeth, go to bed. I mean, would that work? Is that, how's that for a habit? Yeah, and, and that's something I have used in the past, Keith. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I need to start. 
You know, you know, one of the biggest issues I face, right? And this is why Keith, Keith and I actually have a show on Monday morning, well, Monday morning, my time, Sunday, uh, your time, um, where we talk about accountability and we talk about goal setting. And we do it via Blab once a week. And that was basically born out of a fact that it's so easy for us to let ourselves down, but it's incredibly disappointing in ourselves if we let someone else down. And that was one of the reasons why I asked Keith if he wanted to do the show with me because when I jump on there and tell Keith that I'm going to do six videos this week and I've only done three or four so far today, I've got to go and shoot the other two because I told him that I was going to do six. Yeah, it's awesome. And, and that's right. That right there is the, the power of accountability. I, you, you have to have an accountability partner in this. I mean, you have one, you have one in your business. Now, what about your health? You, yeah. Well, it's sort of like if he tells me he's going to work out, I'm going to ask him, did you work out? Yep. <sighs> oh, geez, you ride me, you ride me hard, mate. <laughs> uh, but, you know, just, just to cool, kind man. of... Well, I, I, I think, um, yeah, wrap it, wrap it up for us, Travis. Like, wrap it up into a package that, you know, put a pretty bow tie on it. What, so, I mean... What, uh, you know, we've talk a lot, right? If given us uh, our pyramid of things, that's Travis gone. Am I here? Can you hear me? Uh, he's uh, back. He's back. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. I, I missed that a little bit. Um, I, I poor connection there. Um, but I, I, I think I heard you, and that was just to wrap it all up in a in a nice pretty bow. Um. Yeah. So, okay. So we've, we've talked about these things and, and to be honest, there's, there's a lot more tactics that we can go through and I could probably talk about this for 10 hours, but I, what we really have to understand is that, you know, our, our bodies, our, our physical presence, our physical fitness is our life. Um, it's our, they are our relationships, our business, every, our entire confidence, our, our full presence, our, us being on this earth, right? Without it, we have nothing. And if you do manage to find it, it's going to bring a level of clarity and focus in your life that you've never had before. And one last thing I wanted to mention to kind of wrap this up is that when, we, when you think about all the supplements and all the tactics and all, and all these things being thrown at you by, by the fitness industry, ask yourself, you know, why is it that you want to, why do you, why is it that you want this weight loss pill or why is it that you need this caffeine? Are you, are you running from something? Are you trying, are you in denial about your, your state? Do you want to, you want to go after things like coffee and other caffeine sources because you didn't, you're not getting enough sleep and you're masking the fact, or do you want to chase supplements yes. because you're not willing to commit yourself to becoming a healthy person, to be, to reaching the, your ideal. Um, and I think that a lot of people, I went through it myself, right? I went through a stage. I've tried just about every supplement on the dang market. I'll be the first to tell you. They don't work. I mean, it, it was me just simply saying, I want a quick fix. I want this now. Enjoy the journey. You know, just like, just like in your business. If you, if you don't, if you're not willing to enjoy the journey, you're going to be let down and you're going to fall off. And that's just all there is to it. So, that's, that's kind yeah. of how I wanted to wrap everything up, but I do want to kind of transition in with the little time that we have left into, you know, James, we talked a little bit about your health and, and with, with things like meal prep and stuff, you'll, you'll obviously increase your productivity and open up some time for your day. But specifically in our businesses, you've kind of, you've kind of discovered through, through video that you've been able to leverage your time um, in, and in what way? And so if you want to talk about that a little yeah. bit, it'd be great. Yeah, and, and you know, one of the reasons why we thought this would be a really great sort of segue and sort of interaction between the health and fitness is because you use a video, a lot of video in your group, Trav, and, and it's, you've seen it as a way that you can relate to people and you can get in front of people and it's not just, you know, writing another text in Facebook, you know, another text post in Facebook and people going to it and going, uh, more reading, right? Like, it's a personal thing. You can, un, you know, like you can show your enthusiasm. You can show your emotion on a particular topic. And that's why, look, I didn't start video because I thought video would be a good fit. Well, I thought video would be a good fit for me. I didn't think it would be great for my audience, right? I did video very selflessly. 
I thought, you know, like I, I will always, I've always loved being like a larrikin, like in, which is, you know, just very sarcastic and, and telling jokes and stuff. And I thought video would be a great way for me to show my personality because I'm a hand waver and I like expressing and jumping up and down and doing funny things on video. And I really thought that was going to be a great way for me to connect with people. And that's why I started doing video. And what I realized is that video is the perfect way to get into someone's life. Now, Keith, Keith and I met, and, and, you, and you and I, Trav, we met because of video. Like, I don't think I would have had half the connections that I do now if it wasn't for video. And I haven't been doing this long. For, you know, I, I've been doing it. I think I published my first video. Excuse me. I published my first video on the 11th of August this year. And it's now got to the point where, you know, on the 1st of November, I'm, I'm publishing videos for entrepreneur.com and I'm creating a course on how to make amazing looking video. And it's got to a point where it's allowed me to just connect with people on such a different level because I show the transparency in everything. Right? We're talking about like authenticity, um, you know, pre on a previous chat and you know, I think with along comes with this health stuff, right? If we're, if we're looking after ourselves, we're going to have more confidence and we're going to be able to show um, the authenticity in our message. And it doesn't have to be, you know, like it doesn't, we don't have to be saying the next salesman. We don't have to be producing video as like a vlog or anything like that. But the way that we carry ourselves, and if you have the confidence because of the health and the wellness and the fitness and everything else to get on camera, you're immediately ahead of the majority of the population who is trying to do this thing because no one, everyone's like, oh, I don't want to see myself on camera. I don't want to see myself. Oh, I'm not good on camera. And you're like, well, you know what? You know, standing in front of the camera is, is just a piece of plastic and glass. I mean, I, th I think you, you, speaking of wrapping up in a nice little bow, I mean, I think you did, did, did well there in terms of like really explaining how the vulnerability aspect of it because, you know, we do live in a world where everyone's, behind their computers now. Um, I have, like my business is all online. So it's, it's really easy for someone like me to sit behind the computer and just write a blog and run traffic to it and, and not expose really who I am. And I, I think there's such, such power in, in really showing your true colors and, and being, be willing to, to mess up. You know, I, I, see, I see James videos all the time. Like, he'll do blooper videos. You don't see that sort of thing because people want to make it seem like that everything in their life is perfect, and it's not. They're full of shit because we all know that we, we, there's so much that we go through that, you know, would we want it to show it to the world? Probably not. But at the same time, it's like maybe, maybe there is some, something to it, right? Maybe, maybe we can, you can relate to your audience. And I, I know, Sean, like you have – you have a, chiro, a chiropractic company. I, I mean, I think it would be great for, I know it's local, but I think it'd be great for you to start doing video and to really show, show who you are. Because I know you from, but, but to be honest, I, I, I haven't seen, I haven't talked to you in, in a few years, but I think it would be a great thing for you to put yourself out there and really, because people, you're, you are full of, I mean, amazing knowledge that, that, yeah, you can write down on paper, but to hear you say it and to hear the emotion behind your voice, there's just nothing like that. And, you know, podcasts, podcasting is a great way to do that as well. But something about seeing the words coming out of your mouth, there's, there's just this trust that's built with your, with your audience and this, this likability and this, like, um, people feel like they know you. I just got back from a, from a conference this past weekend and, you know, I, a lot of the people that, that I saw there, they do a lot of videos and literally I feel like I know these people because I've watched a few of their videos, like, you know, five, probably 10, 20 minute videos and all, because a lot of people do like two or three minute videos, but it's, that's just goes to show you the, the power of it and just this connection. And, um, I guess as soon as you're, you're the people that you're talking to do know, like, and trust you, you're, they're going to come on with you and, and you're going to be able to tr transform their lives in ways that you never even thought they never even thought. And so it, it just, it just kind of gets you in. And that's why I, I you know, yeah. respect so much of what you do, James. I mean, this is a movement, right? This is, this isn't like a, Oh, I'm going to do a video now and, and hopefully I'll get some engagement. It's like, no, like video is something that should be implemented into, into your, your daily life, your weekly life. Um, I think it's great. I, I think it's, I think it's very, very great. And I, I, I love, I love this talk. I love that we're able to, to tie in, the health and fitness aspect to, to also um, 
the, the video side. And I, because mental health is just as important as, as physical health and they're completely tied together and it goes back to mindset. So, yeah. um, what I want to do for, for you guys yeah, is, uh, on the call is, is I want to give you something. And I, I, I created a, a three day video series, um, where basically it's, and you guys are pretty, pretty knowledgeable from the health and fitness perspective. But what I want to do is, is whenever you go through these videos, it go, it dives a little deeper into these tactics and it, it basically takes you from the ground up. And J James, I know you'd benefit from them as well. So I'm going to send them your way. Um, and I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you think. I want to hear if it resonated with you, um, how you felt based off of this conversation and then those, th those three videos. So um, I'm going to send them to you. Um, I know you guys opted in, so I'm going to go ahead and, and forward those to you as soon as we... And, and, and then I'll critique your videos. Yeah. And, and then, then I'll critique your videos and you can actually, check them out. <laughs> so next time, and I'm not really sure how we're going to do this, and it's going to be from... From a, uh, from a def we're not going to have any more of these technical difficulties next time. But what I want James to do is actually go through these videos, right? Because we'll sort not, it. We'll sort it out. Yeah, yeah. They're they're not they're not exactly what he's talking about. They don't they don't implement any strategies. It's just me sh taking a, a video camera or, or my my phone right here and, and shooting it, just because that's how I've done things in the past. But are there better ways to do it? Absolutely. Um, and I, I think James will go into that a little bit. I, I don't want to steal his thunder, um, but it, it, you can do you can do it for under two hundred dollars. You can, and I I'm ready to learn from that. And I think I think by using my videos, it's it's going to be pretty funny in, in doing that. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, it is a rabbit hole. Um, I don't want to take up too much of everyone's time um, for it because, you know, we, like, you know, you like, you can talk to the, about this stuff, you know, the health and fitness stuff for 10 hours. I could talk about this for 10 hours. It, and, and it is a rabbit hole. The, the hardest thing I've found with people who want to get started on video is that there's so much noise out there. It's like the health and fitness industry, right? Is you, you type in like how to get fit and next minute, you're like, you sold some pill from like Nigeria that's going to change your world. It's, it's insane. And it's the same with video that everyone has their two cents. They add into the conversation, which only just creates noise. And for people who just really, you know, want to like do a good looking video, using your iPhone is fine, Trav, but you know, implementing it with tools and I don't have it with me, like a gorilla pod. It's a tiny little tripod. And it is just, it'll just change the way it seems because you can rest it on your laptop, which gets to the eye level. You can wrap it around. Yeah, I know, Keith, you're looking for yours. Um, you can wrap it around like a pole if you're in the park. Um, uh, you know, like Sean, if you're, if you're wanting to talk about car cracking stuff, like you can put it on a shelf, man, and have like the, like the video, like the video should be getting because you sort of demonstrate like if you're laying on the bed, yeah, there you go, Gorilla Pod. So like it's, it's stretchy and it bends and stuff. Yeah, immediately that will transform your game because it provides stability and you know you know travel like one of the things like when you hold your phone up sometimes you know, people hold their phone up and yours is actually quite good yours is quite steady probably because you're like been working out and you're not jittery from caffeine and stuff but people hold their phone up and they look like michael j fox is making a freaking cocktail right like i get seasick <laughs> yeah it was low blow um <laughs> But you know that's the thing, and you see that, and then and then besides the fact you hear the tinny audio like, "Hey, how are you going? My name's James, and I'm here to show you how to make a video." What? Like, who's on the PA? Who's speaking to me that way? And then this little tool, the Rode Smart Lab Plus, here in Australia, it's sixty nine dollars. I think in 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 the US, it's probably like twelve dollars or something, given the exchange rate. Those two things alone will change the way that you produce video a hundred percent. And that's, you know, like I, you know, I do have a course for, for video for less than 200 bucks and I'm not going to pitch it, but that's, you know, one way that, you know, you can get all these tools and that's only going to set you back. That's going to set you back less than a hundred dollars. And immediately you've got great looking video. Yeah. No, it's awesome James. And like, like we kind of went into it. I do want to set up another one of these where, where uh, James is actually literally going to go into my video and critique it. And I, I think that that would be powerful for a lot of people. Cause I know a lot of people are trying to start implementing video. They just, A, don't know how to, and B, are, are just completely uncomfortable doing it. I mean, I was, the first, the first time I did one, 
it was one of it was, it was terrifying. It was like I was public speaking, and but the problem is I wasn't speaking to people. I was speaking to this device, and it's just it's. I mean, I felt like I needed to take a shot of vodka or something. I mean, I, it was, I hated it. But then now, I mean, after about video, you know. I'll let you know a little secret. What's I'm up? 100% buzzed in every video I do. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not really. I just. Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> yeah. I think it's been great, mate. I think, you know, you know, thanks, thanks, um, you know, for laying it out. I think, you know, we're all, all pretty appreciative of that, mate. And, you know. We will do another one. Um, hopefully, we can get a few more people on and we can sort out the Google Hangouts technology. You know, who would have thought? And, um, you know, we can go from there and we can continue. I think, you know, regular chats like this, Trav, and, you know, we've got so many different topics we can touch on, you know, both from the health perspective, but also tra- how does that translate into, you know, someone like me? I mean, you're on this journey for a lot longer than I have been. Um, how does that translate into someone who's just starting on their entrepreneurial journey, who's just starting to make money, you know, like I made my first 200 bucks yesterday. Like how, how does that translate? How do I now, as my business starts to ramp up, how can I implement stuff that's going to, you know, maintain my health, maintain my mindset, but also then, you know, from my perspective, how can we implement some tools and, you know, and, and use me as a case study. I mean, I'm happy to be a guinea pig for all of this. And this is the thing that I think benefits most people is that they can see real world examples that show them, look, you know, it isn't all peaches and cream. You're not making two hundred thousand dollars a month. Everyone, everyone's not making that. That's you know a minority. But like, how can we set this up for success in the future? 